welcome back to Bibles in the Bible with Chef Sheena. Um, thank you guys for coming out, coming into my home, coming back to my show and following us with this. And today we have like a big day plan. We're going to cook and then we have some guests and then we're going to switch over to our podcast. So make sure you stay tuned and focus on our podcast. That's where we're actually going to break down the um the refresher of the word. So today we're going to be in um, Luke and we're going to, on my podcast, we're going to talk about Isaiah. But today we're in Luke, we're going to, we're in Luke chapter one, verse 45, and it's blessed, blessed is she who believes that the Lord will fulfill his promises to me. <laughs> okay. So to me, this verse, because it's hard, especially being a single mom, is like, okay, I got to cast all my cares onto the Lord because he provides my needs. But when things is like going real slow for me, and I'm like, oh, what about this? What about this bill? Like anxiety kicks in. So this is where Luke started to talk to me in this, in this chapter. So that's the refresher of the word. And like I said, in our podcast, we're going to break it down um, completely into the word and I have a special host on my podcast. I'm so excited to be able to work with her. Um, her name is Suzanne Bridges and she'll come in and um, we'll actually talk about like where we grew up and how we know each other. So that's a special treat for you guys. And not only that, I have my friends. Um, well, I met them for my food truck. Her name is Juliana and her mom, Julie. Um, they came all the way from Nebraska to come down to actually be on my show today. So I'm super excited. So we got to get started today. We're going to make um, spaghetti squash. So yeah, I know. <laughs> Your girl like fried foods and that's what I like. But I'm doing some changes in my life. So now we're trying to switch it up a little bit and take away some of the carbs. So let's get a little healthy today. So jump on in. So Come on, Juliana. I'm so excited. Guys, this is Juliana. I'm so happy to see her. She came down here in, what was that, 2019? And 19, her and her mom, they came to just explore Northwest Arkansas and they wind up at my little old food truck, Kinley's. And it was just so happened to be a turkey leg day. <laughs> so they got to enjoy some amazing turkey leg and they followed me through all this time and then they were like hey we're gonna come back down there and I was like you gotta come and be on my show so and they actually got to go to the farmer's market which is like a new new hobby of mine I love to go to the farmer's market so that's great did you have fun at the farmer's market? We did have a lot of fun. You did? We enjoyed it a lot. We liked seeing everybody, and we also loved seeing you guys in action. Yeah, I see you picked up some of Chef Sheena's apron. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So if you don't make it to the Goshen Farmer's Market when we're out there, you can always pick them up online at KinleySoulFood.com. They're really cute, and they're very colorful. So what we're going to do today, we're going to make spaghetti squash. I know. We're going to work on the squash first because it takes the longest to cook. Okay. So I'm not familiar, familiar with this, but we're going to work it together. So just one second. So our ingredients is all over here. Usually I have them all over there, but we've kind of moved things around a little bit, changing the game up. So hand this to you. And we're going to take these. And I am going to get us some forks out of my dishwasher. Sorry, guys. I didn't even grab none. Whenever I uh, first started. All right. So this is hot. So be careful, sweetie. I don't want you to get burned. Not on my show. Like, come on. Not on my show. We're going to start this first because we, we got to put them like, we're going to gut the inside. Did I say it right? I don't know. We're going to take the insides out a little bit and then we're going to put them in the oven for a few minutes so they can kind of soften up and then we'll, while we're doing, letting that soften up and then we'll start. So, I don't think you're going to eat the outside of it. So that don't really matter, but let's But I had got a bread knife. <laughs> they're really hard to cut. I can see. That's probably why they're saying to put it in the, um, um, we can 
maybe microwave it for a few minutes. The whole thing? Two minutes, yeah. Is it going to blow soften up? soften it. Like two minutes. Okay, see? Just to soften it. I'm not familiar with this, so we're going to throw them in the microwave. Do we cut the... I don't think so. I think it'll make it easier to cut. Poke some holes. Put some holes in it. Maybe just a little bit. Do you yes. have a smaller knife? I wonder if this will go through. I hope they don't come Just back. enough so it doesn't explode. See, this is new for me, guys, because y'all know I would have fried this thing and it would have been just right. But <laughs> <laughs> since we're going on the healthier side, let's just... Mom likes, mom likes to make spaghetti squash a lot. Ah, so that's why she's over there telling me how to make it. <laughs> she should have came first. Yeah, she probably, <laughs> probably should have. But, um, so y'all do the farmer's market sometimes too, though, in Nebraska. Yes, we do. All right, so how is that? How does that work? Um, it's how is it going? Pretty... We haven't done it for a while because we've been traveling, mm -hmm. but it's pretty laid back. Mm -hmm. And so besides baking all night, yeah, it's really fun. I know. I like it. I like the, um, the environment yes. and to meet different people. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm going to give you a little secret for next week's show. We're going to be having one of the ladies from out there. She's making huckleberry pies. So we're going to have huckleberry pies next week, so I hope everybody that's a, a guest on my show just love huckleberry pie. <laughs> um, I actually ate some the last time I was there. It was really good, so. I've so. never had it. Shall we put this one by one, or can we put all three of them in there? One by one. One by one. Okay, guys. <laughs> Please don't blow up on my place. <laughs> How many? How many minutes? Two minutes. Two. All right, guys. So now we're back. I got a microwave. I got them a little soften up. So hopefully this will work better for us. And I got a bowl right here. So when we hollow out the inside, we can throw our scraps in there. So let's see what we have here. Miss Juliana. You want to be my, you want to do the honors today? I can try. <laughs> okay, don't don't cut your hand. Cut mm -hmm. this squash. And you already cut the bottom. Mm-hmm. Was it easier to go this way? I don't remember. I just knew it was kind of complicated. So <laughs> hopefully the microwave soften them up and it won't be so challenging. So what we're gonna do now is hollow it out on the inside. You can come. Um, let's put it over here. And be careful because that's still hot. Yeah. I don't want you to burn yourself. So we're going to hollow it out. Get all this looky stuff out. So how is your trip to Northwest Arkansas so far? Like, oh, it's been, been awesome. We've done quite a bit, but it's also been relaxing in the same sense, I guess. We've gone out and gotten some food. Uh-huh. We went to see the farmer's market to see you. Yeah. And then today we went, well, we went to Kinley's today. <laughs> I heard about that. They were like, Juliana came. And I was like, really? She's yeah. just not getting enough of Kinley's. <laughs> no. Yeah, we were just like, well, we need to maybe go. Oh, well, and so we you. stopped by. But yes, it's been, well, we're glad we get to see a lot more this time. Yeah. Last time it was really rainy. Yes, I remember that too. That was not very... Yes, we've been very lovely. excited to join you today. Yes. I'm excited that you're here. I'm excited because it's like our second new episode and uh, we have a whole new crew and now we're like adding our podcast and we're like tying everything together to where it like makes sense. Meaning like Bibles in a Bible. So... Not only on the show, we'll be cooking for you guys, but then when we go to um, our podcast, we will be talking about, we'll actually break down the refresher of the word, and we'll go into, like, depth of that. I don't think it's going to be, like, hardcore depth, but I don't know, Miss Bridge is over here. She might have, like, she just might have a moment, <laughs> but if it happens, hey, I am down for the ride girl but it'll be great 
And I can't wait for you guys to meet her. I've been knowing her since, I don't know, maybe 10. Since you know. were 10? Mm. Wow. Maybe longer than that, but I can only remember back that far. I think I'm doing this right. But <laughs> I can only think back from that far. That's probably as far as I want to think. I'm so old. So, but um, when we grew up, well, you're the street that I grew up on. Her dad was actually our neighbor. <laughs> her dad, I don't know if you remember the show Home Improvement. So you know how the guy would just like peep over that. I don't remember his name. Are you too um, young for that No, show? actually, I think I do know Home Improvement. <laughs> uh, I feel like I maybe did So the it. neighbor that just, like, you only see half of his face, I feel like that was, like, her dad for forever. Until, like, I was older and I actually saw him. I'm like, oh, well, hello. <laughs> yes, so he was a really sweet man. But that was about all that you would get out of him. It was, like, this much <laughs> from the fence. So... Okay. We got okay. these hollowed out. So what we're going to do is get some, um, I have some bacon trays over here and we're going to put them all over the, on the bacon tray and we're going to put a little bit of olive oil on there and then we're going to put them in the oven. Probably should put salt and pepper on it. So I'll be back. All right, guys. So we have it all gutted it out now. So we're going to put our salt and pepper. We're going to put a little bit of, um, I'm making a mess here. We're going to put a little bit of olive oil on it. We're going to coat the top of it. And then we're going to put it in the oven for like 25, 30 minutes. And while we're doing that, we're going to brown the meat and all that stuff and get ready. Let's make some spaghetti. So I swear it's not like this crazy any other time when I'm filming. I don't know why today is so different, but probably because I have guests. I'm not gonna get oil on you, I promise. She jumping over here. I ain't gonna get you oily. All right, I'll do the pepper. Well, you do the pepper and I'll do the salt. How about that? I like a lot of pepper. I like a lot of salt. I'm gonna need a lot of salt on this. Usually I use um, Tony's on everything, but I'm gonna hold back. I'm gonna hold back on this one and see what it come out to be. I'm excited, guys. Switch. Switch. <laughs> All right, Juliana, you quiet. You gotta get to talking. Are you concentrating <laughs> over there? Yeah, okay, I'm making sure good. that I'm getting it. I cooking for other people is sometimes hard for me because. I uh, never, I like things a certain way. All right, guys, I think that got you nice and coated. So we're going to put this in the oven for 30, 45 minutes, and we're going to start working on everything else. Okay. So we got our um, spaghetti squash in the oven and we're going to cook it for 30 to 45 minutes and we have the temperature on 450. So make sure you watch it. Don't burn it. I hope you don't burn it. So we're going to start chopping up our um, onions and our bell peppers right now. So we can get ready to do our, um, we can do our sauce. You want to chop? I can. <laughs> uh, okay, so when I was in school, they tell you to um, hold your fingers like this. I think I said oh, it in yeah. one of my videos before, but I'm like, I'm, I'm too old school for that. Like, you can't teach me something at this age. So it took me forever, and I still don't know how to do it because I do not do it. Um, it will be nice to do it because I won't cut myself, but I usually don't cut myself because I like pay attention. I don't feel like I need to chop an onion in 10 seconds. Like, no. So, but, you know, it might be better if you tuck your fingers. Somebody's watching. Anyways, <laughs> so going back to our refresher of the word. So tell me. 
tell me how like so you remember our verse right from Luke that I just said me yes I believe so okay so tell me how like when life is getting trying and challenging for you when you have to go back to that word to actually help you get through to know that God provides like to have faith in to his word and his promises in your life well actually lately um I we were kind of talking about this while you were before we did all this Mm -hmm. um I've been trying to figure out what the next kind of step is in my life for career job I don't know what we want to call it like you're a nanny though right I'm not anymore actually I'm working with my mom at her daycare okay um and so but I've had a few opportunities come to light but before that we were kind of thinking like what is going to happen next and I kind of had this plan Mm -hmm. for my life I thought I would have my house done and be in a new city and that hasn't happened yet, but I've kind of just been telling myself that that's not God's it's not, plan. Yep, that's not what's supposed to be happening right now. But yeah, so then we're just kind of, I'm just kind of living life and seeing to what's going to happen next. Yeah. Because I can't, I, I make plans and they do not happen, <laughs> they don't follow through. But we all do that. Yeah. We all we all fall short of that because it's like you want to do what you want to do. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I don't have time to be waiting. I got to get this done. And this is because you're making these um, deadlines for your life because sometimes you be looking at other people's life from the outside looking in. Yes. And you're like, oh, I need to be married. I need to have kids. But when you meet my friend, like that's how we was. And our lives are so different. And but they're so blessed right now and I'm like, wow. But God separated us for some time so we can live our life and grow our life. But now that we come back together, we're like, Really? How did that happen? Because neither one of us would have had a thought, like, what? No. That's um when you're in school and they always have you write like your five year plan, your ten year plan. Right. And I go back and I just laugh. Because that's, that's not at all what's happening. It's happened. not realistic. <laughs> no. Like, if it's not with God's plan and God's timing, it's not going to happen. And like I said on my last show, and now she's here, um, I laughed about it when God told me 2011 that I was going to be a chef. And I remember telling her and just being in her car thinking, like, we was laughing. I don't know if she was quite laughing, but I was, like, cracking up, like, he ain't listen to me at all. <laughs> but it's funny now that we're back together and his plan has like went through to actually see it unfold. Because like whenever he gave me that vision, like I told her, I was like, girl, I was praying. It, uh, I remember she had like a white Marana or no, her Marana was like maroon. We were sitting in the car and I was like, and he told me I was going to be a, be a chef. And she was like, why couldn't you be? And I was like, girl. I just looked at her like, what? So here we are down the road. And this is where I am. So that's kind of like what you were saying. Like, yeah. It kind of, um, for me, I was looking at it as like, how am I going to make it as a chef? What? No, I, I don't need, at that time, I didn't even like to cook. I was like, no. Mm-mm, not your girl. Um, <laughs> I just didn't want no part of it. But as life moved on, this here I am. And I was thinking like last night, I was like, how amazing it is that all three of my business now is like making its own revenue. As of like, I sell Bibles and a Bites makes its own money. Um, Kinley's makes his own money and Chef Sheena makes his own money. I didn't even think that I can have one business, but now I have three. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to start sauteing our vegetables. So let me grab a pot. All right, guys. So I'm back. This is new, first of all. So we're just going to hope that it works because if it don't, you know, I have Old Faithful over there. We'll just get on the stove, but I'm being all fancy and stuff. So 
I'm excited. So we're gonna start sauteing our vegetables. We're gonna put um, some olive oil on there so it won't stick. And then after we get done getting them a little soft, we'll put our um, ground beef in there. I probably should do that first, but we'll let these get soft. However you wanna do it at home, cause I know Mrs. Suzanne taking notes, but however you wanna do it, if you wanna do your ground beef and then throw your vegetables in it, it don't matter, just get it going. Okay, so our olive oil is hot, so we're gonna throw in our vegetables. Ah! Sorry, it burnt me. <laughs> Sorry, that's why I wanted to do mittens so it wouldn't burn me. I didn't think that thing was that hot, but it was. Sorry, guys. You okay? <laughs> yeah. Trust me, I'm fine. I do go through this when I'm on my truck, like the fryer, the grease, like my arm is usually like bruised up from like frying oh all the time. So I'm okay. I will live. I will live. All right, so we're just gonna let that go for a little bit. And then we're gonna um, put in our um, ground beef. So now we're gonna add the um, Ground beef, you want to add it or you want me to add it? I can help you. Okay, are you going to be scared? No, I don't think so. Okay. I, I can do some beef. Huh? I said I can do some beef. Okay. So, what else are your plans while y'all here? I don't know. We're leaving tomorrow, so... No. I know. I'm so sad. I'm ready for our next trip already. Wow. But we did some thrift shopping today. Uh-huh. It was pretty fun. Well, we did one yesterday, too, I guess. Uh -huh. We like to go thrift shopping. I have not been thrifting. I don't know. I just... I don't know. Maybe it's just my patience for it. Yeah. Like, but it might be different now since I'm, like, smaller. So I might be able to find stuff that fit. But when I was bigger, I was like, mm-mm. Well, we love Goodwills and stuff. Uh -huh. I like to find clothes. And, and stuff. Do you, unique. like, redo them, like furniture or anything like that or y'all just go for clothes um i mostly go for clothes i have a few furniture pieces that i've not gotten redone uh-huh so i tell myself i can't buy anymore until those ones get done <laughs> and you're like um in the process of building your home right um i'm redoing it redoing it yeah yeah so you can use some of those pieces in there I could, yeah. I just have to get it done. I don't, I like, I have a lot of ideas, so I see things, right. and I see all of the fun stuff that can be done to it. Right. But following through and getting it done all the time is a little rough. Right. Because of life? Yes, it gets busy. Yeah. I do have a few pieces, though, that I've definitely held on to for when the time comes. Uh-huh. I'm excited for you. Thank you. That's going to be great. That's going to be really great. What I love the most is, like, you and your mom are, like, so tight. Like, y'all bond and relationship is, like, super amazing. Like, I love that. And I hope when um, Kinley gets older, like, she learns to love and want to be around me. But we're in, like, two different worlds. And she like, girl, no. I, she has no interest. But King, though, my son, he loves to cook. Oh, that's good. So I can see him in in the kitchen. Like, that's, that's his thing. He's always like, I want to help you. Can we make this? Like, he ain't going to try the food. Like, if it's something out of his food pyramid, no, nah, he ain't going to be able to do all that. But... He will get in there and help you cook it. But he's getting better, though. I think um, since him, them going to summer camp, it kind of helped them a lot. They got to try different things. Oh, yeah. Foods. That's nice for kids. They, yeah. When all their friends are doing it, they'll try it. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So, your mom has a daycare, and you're yes. helping her in there. How does that work? Um, it's a lot of fun. I love the kids. She does preschool. Okay. And so I've been, I help a little bit more with the preschool side of things, I feel like, during mm -hmm. the school year. Um, but yeah, it's really fun. It's I like working with mom. Yeah. She likes things done a certain way, but so do I. So right. it tends to work out fairly nice. Right. 
Wow. So is it a lot of kids, or is it is it one one age, or how does that um, work? No, actually, mom, we have a few, a couple infants, mm -hmm. and then it goes all the way to like five year olds. Oh wow! So, so yeah, I'm not but a we only cool. have um, no more than twelve, okay. so we get to still keep it small, really bond with the kids. So how does that um, like y'all on vacation? So how does that work? Y'all just close. For vacation? Um, my sister-in-law actually works for mom, too. Oh, okay. And in the summertime, we don't have that many kids, so we really only need one person there. Okay. So she's kind of covering it for us while we're gone. Wow, that is so cool. Yeah. I wish I had somebody to just cover things while I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, well, we left for Florida for my birthday, and I mean, it was like so quick. I think it was like four days, maybe. Yeah, four days. Mm -hmm. And it was like, when we got back, I was so tired. Like, I was just like, oh my goodness. Like, we cannot do this again. I guess because it was like early morning travel. And then to come back to all the text messages and the emails and customers like, hey, I went to the truck and you've been closed. Like, you just have to. So I really haven't had a vacation besides that one. So, but it felt good to actually go yeah. to get away. So, did you guys drive? Girl, no. Oh, I, I was gonna say. Two kids. No. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, that was no, some good, no, no, no. No, we flew. Um, I said that right. We flew. Yeah, we flew. I said it right. I didn't want to be <laughs> saying it wrong. We flew down there and um, stayed. On. It was really nice though on the beach. Oh, were you on the beach? Yeah. I definitely, fun. I do want to do a beach trip. Uh, we haven't cool. yet. So we're supposed to go back this, um, this fall for my baby's birthday. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, she wants to go to Disney, so we're going to go back. But anyways, guys, everything is starting to get browned up here. So as soon as it's brown, we're going to drain some of the grease off of it and then start putting our, um tomato sauce on there and let it simmer all right guys so um i want to welcome my new guest julie hi and she is um actually the mother of juliana they're actually from nebraska and they came out to visit me and um we're gonna do a little chit chatting and we're gonna finish browning up our meat but while we're waiting on that we're gonna um pull in ingredients for our salad so we can kind of get everything tied together real quick perfect all right ma'am okay so won't you tell us about yourself? I am a preschool teacher yes. in Nebraska. We live um, in the Omaha area, if anybody knows where Nebraska is. Um, so we're in the Omaha area. I have a daycare and a preschool. Sorry. This um, is... You're okay. I teach preschool during the school year. From, and in the summertime, I have my daughter-in-law and daughter who work for me, and so I don't have to work that much. And uh, I get to just go have fun. See? And then I go back. Yeah. That's the best part of um, having a business is like when yeah. you can take that break. It is nice. It's um, working with kids can be very demanding. So yes. taking a break is important. Yeah. Right. It See, is. I don't work with kids. I just have kids and mm -hmm. I need a break. Yeah. Having kids is demanding too. I have four. So Joanna is a middle child. She has a <laughs> younger sister and two older brothers. Do those? Yes, so okay. I'm going to switch spots with you. I'm going to start okay. and you can actually do some chopping. Okay, so where do you want me to put them when I'm done chopping? You can actually just, just put them on them top on. of the salad. Okay. I'm just going to lift it up. Got so it. you can actually um, get your own salad mix and put it together. Like I always say, it's cheaper to buy it already mixed and you just put your toppings on top of it. Are you just having? Yeah, just a half. Okay. And we're just going to make a simple little side salad to go with our um, spaghetti squash. So, how was your travels down here? The trip to Arkansas is fun. It's always fun. It's a pretty drive. That's right. what I was telling your friend Suzanne earlier, is that the good thing about coming to Arkansas is that it's so pretty. Yes. Yeah. And so, Kansas City is only, oh, you know, three, three and a half hours for us. Mm -hmm. And once you get to Kansas City, Kansas City on is just so pretty. So, it's a fun drive. It's only about six, six and a half hours. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so it's a good, it's a fun drive. We yeah. like it. It's really pretty down here. You guys are lucky, lucky, yeah. lucky. Yeah. And you said you got your um, Airbnb? We did. We got an Airbnb. Uh -huh. um, we are big Airbnb people. Really? Yep, we are. Um, it's a lot of fun. It is um, interesting, to uh -huh. say the least, because you're not really sure what you're going to get. But we've never had a bad one. We've always had good ones. Really? See, yeah. I'm scared. Like, oh, are you? I'm scared because, like, my kids, I got to put them in the same type of environment that they came from. So oh, yeah. we can't get to where it's just, like, outdoors and we got to go hiking and do all these different things. Like, I, I think they're more, like, just a hotel type people. You know? um, yeah, we took my granddaughters to Kansas City last week, uh -huh. and they just kept saying they wanted to go to a motel with a pool. Right. That was their big thing, and we wanted to go to an Airbnb, so we found an Airbnb that supposedly had a pool, and then we got there, and the pool was closed. No. Yeah, so Juliana had to get online and find us a swimming pool to go to. Uh, but we found one, and we went, and we had a blast. You see, yeah. my kids love the pool. And then I actually, um, I actually bought a pool this summer and got it installed. And nice. It's been like such a headache that we have not been out there. I'm like, oh no, it's a lot of work. Keeping it a is, pool is a lot of it's work. It's a lot of work. So yeah. I've yeah. learned that, but, um, yeah, no, we don't get to get out there as often as I thought we would. Cause I'm like, ah, I don't want to deal with the pool today. So, I'm going to go and drain this off okay. while you are Do you want me to do all of them? Um, you can. Okay. And we'll be back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. So, we got the oil drain from the ground beef off. I drained some of the oil off. It sounds like it's cracking back up. So, now we're going to put in our, um, I got tomato sauce and I got like a, like a tomato I can't even think of the name of it. It's like some roasted tomatoes in here. And I put it all in here to make my spaghetti sauce. That's what I was trying to say, my spaghetti sauce. So, and I put roasted tomatoes in it because they look so, they look good to me in um, like a spaghetti. I love roasted tomatoes. And I also love mushrooms in my tomatoes. So let me know. Uh, comment below and let me know if you do or you don't like mushrooms in your spaghetti. I love mushrooms and bell peppers and onions in my spaghetti. What about you? I do too. Yeah. But I have to confess, I've only made spaghetti sauce from scratch one time in my life. Really? I, um, does it count that I can buy like a jarred sauce and just doctor it? No, because no. I think okay. uh, that's what I did. I just put things in it yeah. to make, make it I just great. doctor it up, you know. Yeah. But um, I do like mushrooms and I love green pepper. Green pepper and mushrooms together. Yes. Fantastic. Where shall I put this? Um, you can set it right there. We're going to put like some. You can leave it there. Just leave it I here. have a. Okay. Uh, you can cut half of that purple onion. Sorry. Oh, I can. But not as professionally as you. Um, mine's be a mess. Wait till you see the inside of this. Y'all be like, mmm. <laughs> so. We're gonna let this simmer down a little bit and I'll let all the little ingredients just work itself together. And we're gonna cut this salad up and um, get ready to pull our squash out. I'm excited to see the squash. It just looks like it's getting a little brown. Okay, but so now I watched you do this and I was just quite impressed. So you just go down like this? Yeah. I, you know, I learned something. Well, don't cut your fingers. If you cut your fingers, I won't cut then. my fingers. <laughs> we'll edit that. Okay. No. Oh. Ooh, no, like, I don't cut your fingers. That's the big thing. Oh, oops. I cut a chunk off. Okay. And then just down? Yeah. Well, isn't that interesting? I've never done it like that. Yeah. I would have left it with the first round. Oh, really? So you okay. wouldn't have had chunks in your salad. You'll have uh -huh. like little slivers. But oh. it's all good. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. You know. Um, See, I'm going to learn something here. Yeah, hey. I like mine cut really small. We'll dice them up, girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> all right. I'm going to grab the feta and the um, oh, olives. I can't wait to get it all mixed together. <laughs> but I cut my fingers off yet, you guys. 
Okay. Don't cut your fingers off. I'm not. You're gonna need those to take care of those babies. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. All right, so back to our refresher of the word, the word. Um, we're just talking about in Luke. So do you have times where you feel like um, waiting on God's promise in your life is like hard for you to wait on where you try to do things on your own timing or um, yes. you always? Yes, and amazingly, all of this. Yeah, it's fine because it's all going to go to the bottom anyway. Okay. Amazingly, the uh -huh. older I get, probably the more I have those struggles. Uh-huh. Um, really? You, yeah. Um, only because with age, I want things, I get more impatient maybe. When I was younger, I had all the time in the world. Right. And now I'm older and wish for more and, and I get impatient. Really? Yeah. I find myself as older you're just now, the opposite? Yeah, I'm more patient. Before, I'm, yeah. like, I'm always busy. I don't have I'm time. I'm probably more I patient with oh, others, like nurses, but okay. much less patient with myself. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, my biggest thing is, like, and I'm trying to get over it, instant gratification. I need that so bad, and I don't know why. Like, I don't know why I feel like I need instant gratification all the time. I don't think that I do, but I find myself looking for it. Yes. Probably. Yeah. It's a hard one, isn't it? It is. And I'm like, um, okay, I got to get over this because, it, like, it's going to be okay. I'm okay. But it's just like, I got to know. I got to know that it's okay. Yeah. I tried to teach my kids that it wasn't important to have instant gratification. But then you have to practice it too. And it is hard. It's it very is. hard. Yeah, it is. And my kids is like that too. They need it like right now in a hurry. Like, yeah. let's not process it. Let's not think about it. It's not, let's just do it. And I'm like, mm, let's pray about it. They're like, what? Wait, no. No, 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 no. That's how they are. They just used to be like, I used to be like, I used to do things on impulse all the time. Did you? You just sprinkle it on top of it. Sure. I used to be the most impulsive person in the world. And now it's just like... I'm just the opposite. That's so funny. Really? I can't do anything on, on impulse. I have to think about it 500 million times <laughs> before I can make a decision. It is funny because I was talking with one of my friends whenever I went home the other day. I went to Fort Smith for her birthday. Mm -hmm. And she's like, I got to think about it. I have to plan my week out. I'm like, Toya, listen, girl. I, I, if I try to plan my week out, it ain't, it's not going to happen. Like, I don't know what I'm going to eat at what time. Like, it's, Right. I don't sit I there don't and think. I don't either. I understand that. But I'm not good at making decisions either. Like, I, I can't plan my week because I can't make a decision. On oh, what you want. <laughs> right. Yeah. That's my kids, so my kids make fun of me. That does look good. It's really it good salad. We made it the other day. Um, I had a personal uh, chef catering party, mm -hmm. and we made it, and I think they like ranch, but I had like a vinaigrette, oh, but yeah, yeah. other than that, they love the salad, so it was amazing. I sauce. So, I think our sauce is done, so okay. we're going to cut this off because it's doing, doing the most right now, and we're going to get our um, squash out the oven, so okay. we'll be back. All right, guys, so we're back, and um, I have my amazing friend, Suzanne Bridges, that I've been talking about the whole time in our show, so she's going to come back and close us up, and we're going to actually finish this up, and then she's going to tell us about her amazing new life and how she ended up with Bibles in a Bite, the podcast. Yay. Hello. Thank Hello. you for having me. You're welcome. Thank you for being here, girl. It's a whole new world. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. How you feel? Are you nervous? I am a little. Why? Just a little. I'll, I'll warm up here in just a little bit. Uh -huh. I guess right now I'm thinking about this spaghetti, spaghetti squash. Spaghetti squash. Well, we're going to... Um, we're gonna lift the, pull the noodles out, and then we're gonna sauce it and put it in the oven. Okay, let's go ahead and start. Yeah, scraping. So, so I'm excited about this. As you know, I recently started keto. Right. 
So I had to find something that she can eat. I was like, well, she don't want no fried chicken. <laughs> so I looked and I looked and I was like, oh, well, that looks good. And it's very interesting. So, and it seemed like it was fun to make. Probably not as fun as the charcuterie boxes, but you know, hey, let's try something different. So, Miss Bridges, now I've been asking everybody the same question, and okay. you've heard it. So, um, back to our refresher of the word, because uh -huh. we have to keep on going back there. How do you feel like sometimes in your life is where you have to, like, focus and let God take the will and not try to control things of your own? You know, I was listening to your perspective versus um, Julia. And I think for me, um, in life experience, right, um, right, we have that saying of we plan and God laughs at our at our plans. Right. Um, and so in experiencing um, trying to make my own plans and then those plans not working or um, working for something and then realizing this is not what I want. Right. Um, it has really shown me um, that I need to go to God first, right, mm -hmm. um, with direction. So hold that thought. Let me yep. tell them what we're going to do now. Okay. We're going to start stuffing it with our uh, spaghetti sauce. And then okay. I'm going to put it in here. And then you can put the mozzarella cheese okay. on top. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Mozzarella yeah. cheese. Mozzarella, mozzarella. Did you pick that particular cheese just because of the spaghetti sauce? Or do you recommend any other type of cheese? Um, I think okay. that was just what was picked up at the store. Okay. But yes, I like... Uh, <laughs> I love mozzarella cheese. Like, in case you don't know, I am a cheese person. I love cheese, but um, I'm more of a, a Gouda cheese. I love to have picked something a little more smokier than mozzarella. Oh, but okay. mozzarella, it's fancy when you put it on bowl and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. It's going to come out. It's going to look amazing. But I would have, I would have saved a moment. But it's all good. Okay. It's going to be good. It looks good and it smells amazing. Yes. Now finish your story. I didn't mean to cut you off. I just no, you're fine. So just the the biggest thing is learning um, that to trust God's will mm -hmm. and and to want God's will, exactly. right? Instead of my own will. Exactly. And what I've learned by experience is God's will is always best. It's easier. It's better than mine. It's easier than mine. And guess what? God always blesses me with does. way more than what I had planned for. Exactly. So um, it makes life a lot easier. And it does. I'm like, it does. Lord, why did I even like? Why did I? Why did I even try it that way? Why right. didn't I just sit back and let God handle it? Right. And um, not put so much effort into like making a mistake. Because he allows us to make mistakes, yeah. make mistakes. But whenever he comes through to pick you up right. from that mistake, that's when it, that's when you feel it the most. Because you're yeah. like, dang, if I would have just listened. Yeah. So it's like, like they said, if your life is, um, what did they say? You have to live your life backwards. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So that's how I feel a lot of times. Yeah. So. And ultimately, again, his plan is always what's best for us. Yes. Cause he already read it out. We just want to edit it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we want control. Is right? The issue. It is not in our control. Yep. So we're going to put these in the oven and we're going to grab the other ones out real quick, guys. It's not hot anymore. Yeah. yeah, if you don't mind grabbing that one for me. Put it over there right yeah. now. So we're switching these out. Switching it up. Oh, this looks really good. So, gonna... Chef Sheena, it's a little brown, and that's what you want, right? Right. Okay. Scrape, 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 scrape. Yes. So, so how do you, what do you think? Did you ever think that I was going to be a chef? Like, what did you think? You know, um, I, it, to me, it just never seemed far-fetched, right? Mm. I think a lot of times we underestimate ourselves um, way more than we should. Right. Um, but, you know, you have always... Um, been very talented you have always been a hard worker sheena started working right at 16 or did you start at 15 15 i yeah. worked <laughs> i worked at Chuck E. cheese <laughs> she did so you've always been a hard worker yeah. anytime you set your mind to something you always did it um so yeah it doesn't seem far-fetched and here's the thing we serve an amazing god right so 
I am not surprised at what he's doing through you in this season of your life. Yes. And I'm proud of you. Thank you. And it's a blessing for me because I'm not the best cook. Uh, but I, I, lo I love to eat. Yeah. So this is good. Oh. Especially for me since, you know, I um, have a lot of kids. And this is something that may not take so much time in right. prepping, right? Right. But they will... Uh, Will they eat this? Because my kids may eat this if I don't put all this onions and um, uh, mushrooms peppers. in it. Oh, the mushrooms. No, they'll eat that. Yeah. They'll, they'll eat regular spaghetti. But I don't know about no squash because I have never tried it. So I'm excited to see what it's going to do. I think the presentation will make them say, Mom, what is that? I think they'll try it. Because my kids aren't afraid of food. Right. They don't like green things. So I would have to really Take all drown the, the peppers in red sauce. Um, but outside of that, I think they would give it a try. They'll give it a try. Yeah. Well, I think, like, spaghetti, um, spaghetti sauce, mm -hmm. I think it's typically the person. Or yeah. how they were raised. Because some people mm -hmm. like bell peppers in it. Some people don't like mushrooms in it. Mm -hmm. It's like how the person was raised. Yeah. It's like your taste. Yeah, so I sure. think you can like build it and create it to be your own. Yeah. And it'll be like super amazing. Like I've had like all kinds of spaghetti. Mm. And I love it. Like I love different ones and not just my own. Yeah. So yeah. that's the best part of that. Well, this looks amazing. I love mushrooms and bell peppers and onions, so this is right up my alley personally. Yes. So I think I'm going to copy this exact recipe. <laughs> and try it at home. Yeah, yeah. I think I'll use maybe mozzarella and maybe cheddar as well, because uh -huh. I'm a, like sharp cheddar. Yes, I like that too. I love cheese. Cheesy person. Matter of fact, I like cheese so much. Like, if I need to slow down on the cheese, uh, you just let me know. Because uh, uh, I all. can cheese this thing all the way up. <laughs> we all have our issues with cheese, but it's like the best part of, of a meal. Yes. So, tell us about yourself. We're going to um, put this to the side and let that finish okay. up in there. And then tell us about, it, about Mrs. Bridges and her new... So where I'm at now, so, you know, I'm a mom of four. Yes. Um, That's not my oldest. It is um, a little bit, sorry. Oh, <laughs> yep. I'm listening. Okay. Oldest um, is in college right now. He's at right. Arkansas Tech. Right. And then I have two daughters. And interesting enough, Sheena mentioned this earlier, um, that we went a time where we uh, weren't talking, right, right, for some years. Well, then when we reconnected, we found out that we both have daughters named Kenley. <laughs> that was funny. And that was not planned <laughs> at all. So hers, yeah. her daughter is Kenley, and then my, is, uh, my daughter is Ma Kenley, yes. but we pretty much call her Kenley. So yes. I thought that was pretty pretty fun um but yeah so um wife mom of four kids and um i'm a minister at saint james church yes. um also am the church administrator there um and so i received my call to preach and teach uh in 2019 and so um just grateful to god for that and really grateful to my pastor and my church who um, have just been so supportive and loving and um, have given me the opportunity to preach and teach. So yes. that's what's been up so far. That is fun. Yeah. We're going to pull these squash out because I think they're done. Because I put it on bro and I don't want it to Oh, over. yeah. Oh, that looks good. It does, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's like, it's, whoops. Somebody ain't happy there. Yeah. Somebody didn't want to come out the oven because it only takes like Five minutes on roll. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, this is our finished product. It looks so good. And it smells amazing. Yes, guys. You got to come on in and make sure you can. I always tell you guys, I wish I had smell a vision because if you can just smell it, you'll be like, wow. But come on in and then see how goldenly the top is of the cheese. And mm -hmm. then you have, like, you can see all your tomatoes. And remember I told you about the roasted tomatoes? Like, the roasted tomatoes and the spaghetti, it just makes it pop. Mm -hmm. It don't look like bored old cafeteria spaghetti at this point. Yeah. But when you put the roasted tomatoes in it, they just kind of stand up and stand out. So that's why I like that. Um, so it really make me... 
Honestly, mm-hmm. I just think it's in like garlic bread. Mm, yeah. Like, I'm thinking I get some garlic bread, but I know it's Unless like, you're keto, right? No <laughs> garlic bread then. <laughs> so, I know it's about to be a, a different adventure. So, mm-hmm. I'm excited to try it. Yeah. And, um, guys, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to follow us on our podcast because we're actually going to eat this wonderful food and we're going to sit down and minister with each other and just have a great time with one one another. I can't even talk right now. And also remember, guys, you don't have to be great to start, but you do have to start to be great. Have a blessed day.